It's time for Focus Forward, sponsored by Invest Grand Bahama. It's Grand Bahama's best talk show, highlighting all of the positive things happening in Freeport. Look forward to our special guests each week that will tell you about events, activities, and initiatives that are making a remarkable impact on our community. You'll also hear from local business owners and get a heads up on deals and special promotions. It's time to Focus Forward. And welcome back to Grand Bahama's Best Talk Show, Focus Forward, sponsored by the Invest Grand Bahama Unit of the Grand Bahama Port Authority. My name is Glendia Sweeting, the Business Development Officer here at GBPA, and I am joined by my co-host, Public Affairs Director of the Downtown Freeport Business Association, Alex. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, you got welcome that back. new title. Public Affairs Director. Yeah, you know you like big titles. I like big titles, but you forgot the <laughs> lovely, the beautiful, the suntanned, the bronze. I will save, I will save that for your husband. You'll save okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it is so great to be, be back. Yes. You know, as I was saying earlier, I miss everyone on staff. I miss my team. I yes. miss the Focus Forward team. Seeing everybody for oh. every week, every Thursday. Listen, but we had to go through up. the summer. Mm. We had to go through the summer. We needed to take the time to look at the show, see what's happening in Freeport, bring new highlights, new information information and we're there it's happening now so we need to tell them now so that's why we're back that's why we're back yes listen summer was hot not just literally hot but yes. lot lit as the young people would say lit with events and promotions <laughs> and lots of things going on in Grand Bahama and you know the only way you can stay on the pulse is to watch us here on Focus Forward Grand absolutely Bahama's best talk show yes yes and yes. of course we have so much new information some big news that we want to share with you today we have some fantastic guests that we have in studio with us of course we have the Grand Bahama Port Authority being represented and we also have ITEL BPO Solutions and the Office of the Prime Minister so this is a big one it's a big show yes well we have to start big of course we have to get you rolling <laughs> we, we, we have to get you rolling because you know if you want to know what's going on we got all the big guys right yes. here today right Listen, you don't want to move. Stay on the pulse. Where can they hear us? Of course, only here. ZNS Television Network, Tuesday evenings at 9.30, Saturday mornings at 9.30. Of course, we are on KISS 96, Power exactly. 104.5, YouTube, YouTube, Facebook, Facebook. ZNS app. It comes up. We're everywhere. We're on your phone. You can't carry us. You can't miss. You'll be walking yes. down the street. I got to tune in. It's time for Focus Forward. We are global. Oh. So it's great to have you guys back with us. So let's get the discussion rolling because, let's you know, we have we have these big wigs in the room. Which means so we need to news. talk to them and find out exactly, exactly what's going on. It is always a pleasure to welcome the president of the Grand Bahama Port Authority and Port Group of Companies here with us, Mr. Ian Roll. Welcome back to Focus Forward. Thank you very much, Dan. Good to be back. Good to have you. Let me tell you, when I see you, I know there's big news. There's big news. <laughs> <laughs> we also wish to welcome our special guest from the local contact center, the executive chairman of ITEL BPO Smart Solution, Mr. Yoni Epstein. Thank you very much. Good morning and welcome to Focus Forward. And of course, last but not least, we also want to wish a great welcome to the Minister of State for Grand Bahama in the office of the Prime Minister, my dear friend, the Honorable Kwesi Thompson. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning, beautiful ladies. It is a wonderful day. We are here with you, so it's good to be here. Fantastic. I Thank you guys excited. so much for I'm being excited. with us. I need to hear. I need to hear. <laughs> I need to hear. Okay. They didn't tell me first, you know, so, you know, I would have let something slip already, but they don't tell me. They of say course not. This is candid. Fast. This is real. So we're not going to tell this you anything. This is live. So you're hearing it first <laughs> right here. All right. So let's start with Mr. Rule. We like to get right to it. So the Grand Bahama Port Authority would have been working in the ICT sector for quite some time now. And I believe your efforts can be described as deliberate and intentional, particularly when it comes to the BPO industry and what we're going to talk about today. So give us a little bit of a history about how all of this got started. Yes, um, probably back in 2011, we realized that the IT or technology sector was probably one of the fastest growing sectors in the world. And um, we wanted to make an effort also to deal with the unemployment issues of Grand Bahama. The ICT industry or BPO industry, the uh, type of persons needed to uh, be employed, I thought f f uh, fit very well in regards to our skill sets of the unemployed. So we reached out to one or two firms and we actually had a white paper done to determine how feasible it would be to actually introduce this new sector in Grand Bahama. 
and the, the report came back as being feasible. And actually there was a gentleman who now works uh, with Yanni, who was um, very much involved in the initial process with us, uh, Sebastian. Yeah, yeah and, and so um, Sebastian actually connected Yanni and I, and the rest is history. Okay. And it's been growing from strength to strength. When ITEL BPO opened up, when was it, 2013? Okay. They started with about 65 persons. Now they're about maybe 130 and climbing. Um, I'll let him speak to the growth of the company, but I'm also proud to state that by the end of the year, by at least January of next year, there'll be an additional 100 persons hired in this company. We're not going to stop there, right, Yoni? Wow. We're not stopping there. I think All that right. deserves a round of applause, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. So let's, let me break that down. So what we're trying to say is there's more employment opportunities yes. on Grand Bahama. Yes. And you heard it first where? On Focus Forward. On Focus Forward. I'm the head of the Grand Bahama Port Authority. Yes. I just like to reiterate to make sure you're getting all the information and you know you're getting it hot off the presses. <laughs> okay. That's it. All right. And Mr. Roll, so we've talked a little bit about the history, how we got started, mm. the fact that ITEL BPO is now here uh, working in Grand Bahama. They have a full setup in the Sir Albert Miller complex. Yes. Tell us how GBPA now continues to drive growth in the ICT sector. What else is being done? Yes. Um, well, uh, we're actually partnering with ITEL BPO. So there are a number of trade shows that we attend together. Uh, we show off Grand Bahama and what exists here in terms of his company. And we've making some, made some good traction with that. So um, uh, I said that he has about 130 persons. Hopefully in the next two years he has 1,000 persons. So that's his target. All right? Okay. Well, that's the target yes, for us. Right, right. Big, <laughs> big, big choice to fill, big choice So we, we continue to also work with the government of the Bahamas um, in regards to various policies that uh, the government working on. Again, I wouldn't speak to that. Uh, the minister will speak to it. But we're working with the government to introduce new policies to make Grand Bahama more attractive for these type of companies to want to be here, to create the why, why Freeport. Well, the why frequent is because Focus Board is here. <laughs> <laughs> now, Minister Thompson, let me tell you, one of the reasons why I sit right mm. here, I don't take the head seat, but I sit right here because I'm the one who asks all the hard questions. He already mm. mentioned you. He said the government is doing some stuff. So tell us, there's all this buzz about Freeport being a tech hub. How does the news of the BPO expansion help in pursuit of that vision? And what other initiatives is the government working on to promote Grand Bahama at this time? Well, thank you. I mean, I think that's an excellent question. Uh, I want to first congratulate ITEL BPO. They are a true success story here in Grand Bahama, and we need more companies like them. Uh, we need more success stories. Uh, obviously, they uh, came in 2013, so they really were one of the pioneers, as uh, Ian indicated. Uh, they were brought by the uh, Grand Bahama Port Authority. So this idea about Grand Bahama being uh, a tech hub or Grand Bahama being involved in the tech industry really preceded uh, the government. Uh, but when we came into office in May of 2017, it was one of our goals uh, to really grab a hold of this idea uh, of making Grand Bahama a technology hub. And so that's been one of our real main focuses. Uh, to your question, what today really means is it provides evidence that the island of Grand Bahama is an ideal place for companies like ITEL, ITEL BPO. It is an ideal place for technology companies. Uh, it is a, uh, the proximity, the people, uh, the infrastructure, uh, the uh, benefits of the Hawksboro Creek Agreement, the benefits of being in the Freeport area. Uh, all of these uh, help uh, when it comes to bringing technology companies and making it possible for them to do business here. So this really speaks to, to the success, that we are really on the right track. Some other things that the government are doing. Uh, one, one is it, it doesn't make sense of us just talking about uh, this technology industry without preparing your people. Yes, we so need one of the things that we have been doing actively is preparing our people. So recently we put in place a uh, technology program in high schools through BTVI. It was started through our summer program, and so we had 50 kids here in Grand Bahama who went through the first phase. Uh, they completed it at the end of this summer, and at the end of the summer, actually, those 50 kids are now able to open up small web design businesses. That's they will awesome. continue those uh, trainings through the next two summers, 
and they will be uh, have their own certifications at the end of those uh, three summers. As you know, the government made BTVI free. Uh, and one of the things that we have focused on is ensuring that the technology programs, the ICT programs, are pushed heavily. So there are two programs. There's the associate's degree program and the diploma program. Both now are absolutely free. So we are wow. encouraging Bahamians to take advantage of the associate's degree program in ICT and the diploma program, which is about six months in ICT. Uh, we also are doing some work with STEM. Uh, we can be doing that through the YMCA. There's another development program we're going to be doing with the Bahamas Development Bank where we're going to be training them and then giving them funding. So we're trying to provide the human capacity to be able to provide the personnel to be able to work in the companies like I tell BPO. We're doing, uh, we also be doing some trade missions. Uh, we did some before and we're gonna continue to do those trade missions where we get the word out and we're letting uh, folks know that Grand Bahama is open for business and technology is where we wanna go. Awesome. Um, as uh, Ian indicated, some other policy decisions that we are making. One was the, the recently Commercial Enterprise Act uh, and that provided certain incentives for those businesses who want to come in. And in that act, sp it specifies for technology companies to be able to take advantage of those benefits. And then also we have the H-1B visa program that we're going to be working on. Uh, we believe that that's going to come on stream very shortly. Uh, and that really is ideal because it is going to allow Bahamians to be exposed to companies so that they can be trained by those persons who come in who are experts in this field and then they can benefit from the training uh, and, and to assist them when it comes to that as well. It's not like the government like is facilitating a Silicon yes. Valley right here in Freeport. <laughs> I like the fact that you guys are also focusing on the education aspect. Yes. I believe mm -hmm. that is really big. And I also like the fact that Mr. Roll alluded to the fact that the government and the port is working together. And I know Mr. Roll that the port would have also been working on a program for several years now with some of the students trying to feed them into the industry. Could you tell us a little bit about that? I, I think you've been involved in that. <laughs> 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 yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I, the, I, the yeah. idea is, um, yes, we want to attract these BPO operations or call center operations here to Grand Bahama, but mm -hmm. we need to build a pipeline of local persons to fill these roles that they uh, uh, and to cause the, this growth that we want to happen. Right. So the Port Authority um, has uh, have invested along with ITEL BPO in this program where we're training. Um, high school students, various parts of this business that, um, in terms of the technology, what to expect, et cetera. And the idea is at the end of the day, they would be able to be certified uh, to start to, get to enroll in a company like ITEL BPO at the basic level. Of course, there's further training once you get in, right. but uh, they, they will be qualified to at least get in the door. Okay, oh. awesome. So lots of opportunities uh, as it relates to education. And, and I think that is important because now we are beginning to change a generation, right? Not just change the generation, but I think what's happening is that people now have faith in what the government and the Port Authority is doing, that they're not, not talking a talk. They're putting action behind it because like, BTBI is free. They're mm -hmm. training them. So when they go out and promote Grand Bahama as this technological hub, guess what? We have the employment. We have the skill sets. Our people are ready. You can come, open up shop, and right. they are ready. We have Not a talent only, pool. We have a talent pool. We yes. have it. And these are people or young people that are eager and willing. And I think that says a lot, not just about our people. It says about our leadership, right. which we have a lot to be confident in, which I am very confident and very pleased that the government and the Port Authority is doing it because you're proud to say that, hey, I'm from Grand Bahama. Before you know it, everyone's going to be wanting to move to Grand Bahama. Of course. They're just going to want to be getting involved. <laughs> well, I've always been proud to be a part of Grand Bahama. But we, we need to talk to ITEL BPO because we've had Mr. Epstein sitting here hearing all of this good information <laughs> and how we're planning and preparing. <laughs> but we definitely need to speak to the man himself. So again, welcome to Focus Fort. Welcome to Grand Bahama, although you've been here for quite some time, back and forth. Tell us a little bit about your operation and why was it important for you to expand to Freeport? Sure. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Again for having me and thank you gentlemen for, th for this morning um, you know for us in the beginning you know as I said our, our company started very small six years ago with seven employees 
And about 18 months into our existence, an opportunity came um, where we could, you know, look to invest into Grand Bahama, which is where Ian had said Sebastian, who is, is now works with us and is our, our CEO for the near shore, controlling Jamaica specifically, had connected the two of us. And um, I actually have family here in Freeport that has been here since, Don't Good Dog been here since the 1950s, early, early days, right? Pioneer. Pioneer in the development of, of, of Grand Bahama. Um, so, you know, that, that those initial things um, made it easy to come here and, and, and take a look. And, you know, the f one of the first things was when Ian said it's only 25 minutes from, from Miami, um, so it's a short flight. And and uh, got over here, looked at a few places, um, spoke to a few people, uh, met with a few opportunities, and then some opportunities actually came to fruition. And we said it's now time to, to get into business. Um, you know, I have, a, I have a feeling, I have a saying that if you're not in business, if you want to get in business and you're not actually in business, you're not in business, right? Not you know, it's only talk. <laughs> so, so we got started in 2013 with, with about 65 employees operating on two campaigns. And um, in about 2016, I went back to Ian and I said, we need some more space. And he said, well, I have a building for you. And that, that's the Sir Albert Miller building where we are today so we could completely gutted it and, and fix it up to, to our liking and um, and have grown uh, two additional campaigns since then and we just now recently launched a third new campaign um, where we have about like Ian said 120 to 130 new employees uh, well total employees working for us and we've hired initial 75 of 25 of the 100 so we have another 75 to go which will tack on every you know five or six weeks as we continue to train and, and output because our business is is huge on training you know it's a, it's an industry that is really and truly um an opportunity for a youngster to start um in the working world and to grow from there whether you grow within our organization or you grow with other organizations um we're big we're big 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 on that you know my i myself when i was in college was actually a call center agent working for a company part-time to to make money through college I just so happened to enjoy it a little bit more than others and stayed with it <laughs> all, all the way through to starting this, this business back in 2012. Um, so, you know, as Ian said, we're working with them on some training programs. I'm very interested with what the minister had mentioned a while ago with some of their programs, because in Jamaica, we do a lot of social impact stuff uh, where we actually set up little classrooms with our branding, make it feel like a call center, work with the, with, with the schools on the, on the curriculum, and then you know train those students and provide them with part-time jobs while they're in school in college and then if they if they want afterwards they can get a full-time job or they you know they go into the field that they actually got a degree in um, but these are these are ways that we feel that we can help the community we can help individuals get a job while they're in college make some money um, and and those that are that don't go to college that need to start a career we're at a great, great place to start a career and, and build them through it. I mean, all of our supervisors and managers um, through the you know, four or five years that we've been here have all been promoted from within our team. They all started as agents they've all, and they've all scaled through, through the team um, based upon their determination and dedication to, to success. And we continue to, to be that way. I mean, for a company with 130 people, um, as a foreign investor, I mean, we only have one Jamaican on the ground. And uh, still a Caribbean person, you know. <laughs> so, so it, it is truly a, a Bahamian organization through and through. That is great. It's fantastic news. Now, I had a little birdie told me that something is happening with Ambit Energy. What does the commitment, as it relates to Ambit Energy, mean to ITEL BPO? So, you know, they're 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 a new client to us. They're an energy provider um, in the U.S., uh, specifically in te Texas, all the states, but they're based in Texas. Uh, they outsource throughout the Caribbean um, and other countries, and they came to us and wanted to have some more geo redundancy, and we were able to offer them Freeport um, from that perspective. And you know, um, it is a uh, is is a great opportunity for us, um, given that we have chosen and they've accepted Freeport as a new home for them. And as long as we can continue to do well, I think the first class was a success. We graduated um, everyone and they're now in actual production. And as we continue to do well for them, we'll continue to grow here in Grand Bahama with them. 
Wow. I like mm -hmm. the word grow. I like the word grow. grow. <laughs> I like the word more employment. Yes. I like the word free schooling. I like the word jobs. Yeah. I like <laughs> I like that he wants to be more in Grand Bahama. Yes, yes. And they're talking about careers for young people. You know, this is something that when it comes to a city like Freeport, we know that we have the talent here on the island. We know that we have the students, the young people that need the jobs, the opportunities. So I think this is a great opportunity for those of you that are watching. This is your opportunity reach out to ITEL BPO, get in touch, talk with them, learn a little bit more if you're in high school, you're interested in the programs, if you would like to go to BTVI, Definitely. I'm sure um, the Office of the Prime Minister and Ministry for Grand Bahama would be more than happy to help to guide you through. You know, these are real opportunities. Real opportunities, people are always wondering what is there, what does Grand Bahama yes. have to offer? We have growth. We have a history, but we have growth and we have a bright future. Yes. And I want to encourage per persons that aren't even of school age, that you're out of a job. I mean, we know we've had some closures on the island. Mm. Go back to school, refresh yes. yourself, learn something new because there is opportunities here. And if you want to take advantage of the opportunity, you have to be prepared. We're prepared on Grand Bahama. So we know that Mr. Epstein's going to go out there and he's going to tell other companies, other tech companies about Grand Bahama. I don't know if he wants to share the gem, but you know, we hope he will. <laughs> <laughs> I see that your company is over a couple of different countries, correct? Yes. yes. So we know that other companies are coming and we want everyone to be prepared. We want to say, listen, you want a job? Come to Grand Bahama. Absolutely. That's it, because that's where it is. Yes. So we want to wrap up this segment. Thank you guys so much for coming. Big yeah. news. Big news. Big news from the Port Authority, of course, from the government, and also from ITEL BPO. You can't get it any better than this, and you can only get it on Focus that's Forward it. first. First. Right? That's <laughs> it. First on Focus Forward. Yes. So we're giving you jobs. Mm -hmm. We're giving you opportunities, mm -hmm. free schooling. I'm t listen. Can't beat it. Listen, can't beat it. We're about to start giving you some food in a minute. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Thank you guys yeah, so man. much. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, Thank you don't you go anywhere. We have much, much more to come. We have two more executives visiting us. They're going to be talking with us, giving you more information. You have to stay tuned to it. So we'll be right back right after this. you're thinking about starting a business or looking to expand and grow an existing business, the Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau can help. We are your complete business resource center, offering a one-stop shop service to aspiring entrepreneurs and existing business owners. Did you know that most startup businesses fail within the first three to five years as a result of poor planning, insufficient funding, and lack of basic business management skills and training? The Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau offers a wealth of resources, information, and support to help entrepreneurs avoid costly mistakes, make wise choices, and plan effectively for a successful business venture. Why risk becoming a statistic? Helping entrepreneurs realize their goals of successful business ownership while working with existing businesses to remain competitive and profitable is what we do. Visit or call us today for more information on how the Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau can help you. Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau, empowering licensees. We're right here on Focus Forward, Grand Bahama's best talk show. Alex, we had a fantastic first segment. Listen, I'm still on my high. I'm thinking about all the investment that's going on in Grand yes. Bahama. And I got to say it again, all the opportunities. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you know what I'm also excited about? What's that? This is the second segment. You know okay. What in the second segment? What happens? We give away free stuff. <laughs> okay. We so what are we giving stuff. away today? Listen, we're giving away an amazing gift right now for this season because yes. there's a lot of hurricanes out there. Mm -hmm. Conference of the Grandma Port Authority, we are giving away a tabletop stove, a tabletop stove with a butane tank. Okay. Okay. And listen. It's a great prize. This is listen for right now, and only because they told me I can't. I win was the about prize. to say they told you, but they didn't tell me. So this is very interesting. So we have to listen to make sure her <laughs> husband does not call in. But listen, he you won't. know, our first caller at Kiss Nine. <laughs> At Kiss, Kiss FM, 352 -7440. Just the first caller. Listen, we're just starting our season, so you know what? All the doors are open. Anyone is able to win this prize. Everyone. First, everyone, 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 but only one person is going to get it, and it can't be me. Not unless my husband, you disguise your voice, you know? <laughs> but the first caller, Kiss 96, 
point one FM three five two seven four four zero. Great. So All right. So I'm call into Kiss ninety six FM That's it. and you'll have your opportunity to win that fantastic butane stove. So we want to get on with our segment because, again, we have some very special guests in the room. And I wish I could have had all of them on all the first them. segment all together, yes. but I can't always have it my way. No, we but it's, it's fine. It's fine. So first of all, we want to welcome back to Focus Forward the Senior Manager for Business Development and the Invest Grand Bahama Promotional Unit, Mr. Derek Newbold. Welcome back. Medea, how are you? Alex. Huh. So good to see you guys again. Uh, listen, you know, and I have you on here. I've got tons of questions for you, but I'm, <laughs> I'm going to draw it back a little bit because I got a, another big wig sitting on the side of me. And listen, you guys, we got a great guy here. This is Mr. Felix A. Serrano. He's a 25-year industry veteran of the global customer care, customer experience, business process outsourcing industry. And you know, I already like him. Anybody dealing with customer service? We're like, you know, joined at the hips, you know, but he's the chief executive officer of, of Americans for ITEL BPO, Smart Solutions, which includes end-to-end -end oversight on the Bahamas, U.S. and Mexico operations. Felix joined ITEL BPO through the sale of Grenada Corporation, where he was the chief executive officer. Listen, he has great, vast experience in leadership of public and private corporations for fast-growing and mid-sized environments and entrepreneurial startup. We are, listen, we are blessed to have him sitting here on Focus Forward because he's got great news to share with our Grand Bahama public and all of our listeners. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for the warm welcome. That's it. We got you here. All right, so Mr. Nubo, let's get right to it. So I tell BPO's announcement today. Today. This is the question I've been saving for him. You <laughs> okay, know. let's have the question. What does that mean for Freeport? Wow. First, let me say, it's so good to see you ladies back together. <laughs> We Thank missed you, you guys. We, we missed, missed Focus we missed Forward. We missed each other. We did. We did. It seemed like a long summer. Yeah. You know, last season you ended the season with a major announcement, uh, GIBC Digital. Yes. And then uh, there was Echo Oil, um, groundbreaking. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now you're starting the new season with a major announcement from Intel BPO. Mm -hmm. All I hear is jobs, jobs, jobs. Yes. Opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. Anyway. Money, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> Let me not digress. <laughs> to your question. Today's announcement, uh, really, it represents a major achievement uh, in terms of our milestones that we've set for ourselves in attracting interest from companies who are interested in doing or utilizing nearshore jurisdictions. I believe that Ambit Energy's commitment to ITEL BPO, uh, it represents job creation opportunities in addition to BPO sector growth and something no one discussed this morning. It exposes our agents to the retail energy sector, and that further strengthens our value proposition. Mm -hmm. So we're extremely excited about what's happening with ITEL BPO. And we talk about, oh, oh, sorry, Felix. Sorry, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> <laughs> when you talk about the value proposition, we just got to stop there. Because yes. now we have everybody watching, and everybody wants you to break that down. Break it down. Exactly so what, what is our value proposition as it relates to the BPO sector here in Freeport? It's broad, really. So you look at the infrastructure, there's the proximity, um, there's uh, the labor pool in terms of having a high, un high employment, high unemployment, um, well, there's a high unemployment rate, which means that we have a lot of persons who are available for employment. Um, our literacy rate is extremely high. Um, then you have the support from the GBPA in terms of our business concierge services. Um, we are branded as the number one free trade zone in Latin America and the Caribbean. Um, so there's a lot going on in terms of value proposition for us. Wow. And we talked in the first segment a little bit about the Contact Center Education Initiative. We just mm -hmm. brushed on it. But how has that program been going? It's going into year three now. So how has that been? I think we need to step back and just look at the history of it. So back in 2014, when I tell BPO, actually it was 2013 when you guys launched here, um, they were having a few issues regarding the attrition rate you know, employment, uh, there was a lot of employee turnover. And they came and they approached us about it and they said, can you guys do anything to assist us? And so we developed a program called the Contact Center Education Initiative. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to introduce that program throughout, the, th throughout all of the high schools in order to have some of our kids exposed to the contact center industry, um, anything to do with technology in terms of how they can learn a new skill set that would benefit the industry. And today, I think we have uh, trained somewhere in the vicinity of 1,000 kids going through the program mm -hmm. who would have been certified. 
And what that means for ITIL BPO is now they have this self-replenishing labor pool that they can source from, as opposed to just trying to arbitrarily hire persons who may not have the right skill set for the industry. And I think just creating that program, you open the minds of Bahamians to realize there's so much more out there and so much more opportunity that we've not been actively pursuing and putting out there for our young kids. I think that's something a lot of people didn't focus on. When they think about computer technology, they only thought about web design, they only, mm -hmm. but there's so much aspects of um, computer technology and IT that's available out there. Now, Mr. Serrano, we understand that you'll be the person responsible for the ITEL BPO Contact Center here in Freeport. What are some of your objectives as it relates to ensuring the success of the day-to-day -day operations? If it starts for us, it starts with our people and making sure that we're developing them, providing them with the tools to be successful. But I think above and beyond that, it's really about giving back to the community. It's about showing people that there are opportunities. <clears throat> I started as an agent on the phone uh, 27 years ago, paying my way through college. Okay. 27 years later, I'm the chief executive officer of a multinational business. So this is about showing people that there's a job today and a career for the long term. That's, I think that's an excellent approach to take. So what you're trying to tell me is, I can become an agent at your call center, work my way through college, but I have a future with your company. Absolutely. Ah, that's what I like. For those individuals looking to enter the industry, how can they contact ITEL BPO to express interest in job opportunities? We're always, our doors are always open. We've been hiring for the last six months consistently. We have uh, training classes going on from now to December and we're actively recruiting. We're looking for anyone that speaks uh, fluent English and Spanish. Um, man, woman, anyone that would like uh, a, a career, really an opportunity to continue to further themselves, um, they, can, they can come to our HR office in the Albert Miller uh, building and apply in person. So you just come in and apply in person? Come in and apply in the person. The doors are open. Wow. The doors are open. The, always open, he said. Yes. Yes. And looking Seven to Seven days a week. Seven days a week. There's no oh. excuse. Okay. So you know what? We won't have that high unemployment rate anymore. Right. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're working on this. We are. All right. Well, this is fantastic because I'm hearing job opportunities. I'm telling you. And I'm hearing, more importantly, you know I'm big on education. I'm hearing words like training. So when Mr. Serrano says that you train them, that is so important, Alex. And I want persons to hear that because if you're thinking that, oh, these are some opportunities, I may not be able to have an opportunity or I may not have a chance to, to be able to try, try. Try, you because know? they are training. Yes. So you like the education, which I do as well, but I love the fact that you talked about how can he help the community? How can his company benefit Grand Bahama as well? And I think the concept, if, you know, I'm not going ahead of myself, your idea is if we can be valuable to the community, the community is going to be valuable to us. A hundred percent. Our business is built on, on the experiences that our people bring to the call center. So we are nothing without our people, and we are as much as we invest in them. Now, listen, I asked... Um, a good friend of ours just before in the first segment, you know, who's, who, who's your favorite island? What's your favorite island, you know, <laughs> of all the Bahamas, you know? Keep in mind we are live, you know, and this is, you know, a girl that loves Grand Bahama, but, you know. <laughs> well, for me, I have to tell you, I mean, uh, so I'm new to the islands, but Freeport, I'm going to say, is yes. what, what I love the most. You know what happened? <laughs> That's if fantastic. If you're making an investment in Grand Bahama, obviously you have some love for Grand Bahama. Yes. Absolutely. And I think it says a lot for what Grand Bahama is doing. Yes. It says a lot that, listen, this is what we have to offer. They came, they brought the company here, and they are expanding and continuing to expand. Right. And, of course, if you're an investor and you're looking at this show right now and you're seeing what's happening with ITEL BPO, this is also your opportunity to reach out to the Invest Grand Bahama unit so that you can get some information and, hey, the next investor on this show just may be you. <laughs> Which is very true. <laughs> Who knows? You know, so we want to thank we want to thank Mr. Serrano definitely from ITEL BPO and also Mr. Derek Newbold. Thank you again for mm -hmm. coming from the Business Development Department at the Port Authority. But I think I had one hot question for Mr. Newbold. So oh, no. bring it on! Bring it on! <laughs> bring it on! Let's start the season right. <laughs> Are your doors always open for us? Bring it on! Bring it on! I'll, I'll take one. one. You'll take one. I'll take one. Well, well thank Serrano. you guys so so much. <laughs> and as we wrap guest. this segment. Uh, we are going to have a winner that we will be sharing on the next show. Okay. So stay tuned for that so we can know who won that stove. We're also going to be giving away one stove for the next three weeks. So listen out for our questions, whatever we have to be able to give you an opportunity to be able to win. This first one, you can make a simple call. But all of the others, you will have to do something in order to win. So definitely look out for that. Alex, the summer was packed. Lots going oh on. Oh, my goodness. 
The Grand Bahama Port Authority also initiated the, they launched the Welcome to the Family program. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more on the next show, so you want to stay tuned for that as well. But, you know, this has been great. I tell BPO came with fantastic news. Grand Bahama Port Authority was here. The government was here. Fantastic show. All right, she gave them all the accolades. But you know what Focus Board brought you today? We brought you employment opportunities. We brought you expansion in the, in the community. We brought you information about BTBI having all their courses for free. We have courses inside the school. Listen, Focus Board brings you all of the latest information in Grand Bahama first, right here. Of course. So we enjoy being with you each and every week here on Grand Bahama's Best Talk Show, Focus Forward, sponsored by the Invest Grand Bahama unit of the Grand Bahama Port Authority. And until next time, I'm Glendia Sweeting. And I'm Alex Thompson. Informing you on the positive things that happen when you focus forward. You've been listening to Focus Forward, sponsored by Invest Grand Bahama. Like us on Facebook at Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau to stay updated. And drop a business card at the Grand Bahama Port Authority receptionist desk to have your business featured on our show. Tune in next Thursday, same time, same place, for Focus Forward. Forward.